Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I'm gonna be renovating the show barn. The other day I just decided this was something I wanted to do because I've made the barn ages ago but I never sort of really finished it off properly inside. So yes, today we're gonna be fixing that. I'm gonna try and add so many new things. I've got a whole list of ideas that I have. So yeah, let's jump straight into that. I'm too excited to wait. Also, if you're wondering, I repainted the repainted version of Aladdin because, well, the color bothered me. Like it never looked quite right. So yeah, I decided to make him a um skew board. <laughs> honestly I'm not sure if it's any better I think it looks so cool because it's really really unique and honestly I think he just looks so cute anyway let's get on with renovating the show barn first things first is to pull it out oh my goodness we have a lot of work to do <laughs> so this is the current situation with the barn I've got so much stuff in it because it's the barn I use the least so I use it to store other things in such as the cafe so really anything I do to it at this point will be an improvement <laughs> I should probably start with clearing it out I think that's gonna be the most helpful out comes the red carpet somebody obviously hasn't been taking care of this barn there's trees growing in the middle of it okie dokie these can come out and the ramp can take whatever this is out. Oh, no, that's definitely not the indoor arena in there. It'd be very small. Somebody's done a very bad job of parking. It's clearly not the car park. Oh my gosh. Okay, the whole wall is um, broken. I'm gonna have to fix that. I think I'm going to just clear everything out. So I'm gonna need, gonna need to take out this huge amount of hay. Oh my gosh, runaway bale. <laughs> Actually, come pop it. This hay net can come out back here. It wasn't actually attached to the fence. And I'm also going to take down the little posters so I don't rip them or damage them in some way. Okay, cool. That is pretty much the whole barn gutted. The only things that I've left are these two hay nets on either side here because they're tied on and I can't be bothered to untie them. And I think these two stools are staying as they are, so that is fine. <laughs> well, I've just noticed how loose this side is as well. Hopefully, it won't get to this stage. <laughs> Right, what I think I'm going to do now is have a quick look at my list of ideas that I've had so I can plan the order I'm going to do things in and also which ones I'm actually going to do. Okay, so here's my little list. I've labelled each of the different sort of areas of the barn that I'm going to focus on or create. As you can see here, I'm thinking about putting a wash door inside the barn, so replacing one of the temporary stools with just a big wash door. I think that would be really cool and it would be quite straightforward to do because the hot glue, as you've seen, isn't the most secure on this type of wood, so it'd be quite easy to take the partition out. So the wash is going to be something I'm going to need to do quite early on if that's what I decide to do. The corridor I think will be the probably the last thing that I work on and I think the feed and tack rooms I'll work on somewhere in the middle. So I think I'm going to put the wash door on the right hand side because the partition's a lot looser so I think I'd be able to pull it out quite easily. First I might try and take out these uh, chains so I'll just unscrew the screw hook there we go piece of cake <laughs> okay now for the slightly nerve-wracking bit oh my gosh that came out so easily whoa look at all that space oh i kind of feel bad for it now <laughs> it's got no purpose <laughs> spin this around so we can get a better look at it yes okay it's gonna be so cool i'm just gonna do a little dust because look at all of that, that i haven't been able to get to Ooh, that's disgusting <laughs> How do you get so dirty? You're not an actual staple. Just gonna peel some of the hot glue off of the back wall here. Right, so now this is pretty much cleared out. The first thing that I'm gonna do is paint it. So you know that really cool two-toned effect that you have in wash stools, like a dark color at the bottom with a lighter one on top? I think I'm gonna do that so it's very clear it's a wash stool. So in that case, I'm gonna need to tape off the wall so it's a nice straight line. Right, let me go find some tape. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Damn, okay, so I found some tape. It's not masking tape, but it will work just as well. So yeah, I'm gonna start taping off the wall. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna look really cool. <laughs> All right, there we go. The tape is on. All I need to do is quickly mix up some colors and then we can get to painting. It's definitely starting to look more like a washroom now. I absolutely love the two-tone grey we've got going on here. It does look a lot more blue on camera, but it definitely is grey in real life. 
I've left the lighter grey on top quite rough, like it's been washed on, and I really like the effect it makes. It looks a lot more relaxed than a solid colour would, so yeah, I really like that. Now I need to make the little details for the wash stall. So I have gotten out my craft box with lots of little things I've collected in. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find something that's useful in here. I've got lots of lolly sticks here in the corner, which reminds me I wanted to make shelves or some kind of cupboard for the wash stall. So I'm going to get out my box of lolly sticks so I can make a cupboard first for this place. It's going to come along the back wall either side but then stop in the middle and go down and then we're gonna have the shower hosey thing in the middle <laughs> that's some very technical language there <laughs> anyway i'm gonna grab my hot glue scissors and lolly sticks and yeah we can make a start and glued the little shelving thingies into the barn. I also quickly nipped outside and sprayed them down with this matte sealer so they won't chip if I knock them. So they're looking very smart. I absolutely love the colour, like how it blends perfectly with the wall. It looks really cool. Right, now, like I said, the next thing that I'm going to do is make the hose. So I've been having a good think about what's going to work best. And then I just had a stroke of genius. And I remembered about this thing. So it's literally a shower for a wash stall, which is exactly what I needed. It was from an old horse wash stall set that I had ages ago when I was really, really little. So yeah, I'm going to repurpose it today so I can use it in here. And yeah, it's just going to look so perfect. I can't believe it. So what I'm going to try and do is build it a base out of lolly sticks so it can still rotate and everything. But yeah, it's just something new for it to slide into. Yeah, so let's get on with that. everybody the shower is in it is so cool we've got various buttons down here for like the on and off switch we've got the hose up here i don't know if you can see it but i also added another little bit of lolly stick back there so the hose pipe itself doesn't like come up it's physically impossible for it to move that way so yeah i'm absolutely chuffed with that bit back there now in terms of the floor i'm not going to paint it or anything but i wanted rubber matting and this morning i found the perfect thing and here it is it's the little bit of material that comes on the bottom of raspberry packets it looks looks literally perfect for this. It's even got the tiny holes in. So I've given it a quick wash to get the raspberries off of it and I'm just going to put it here on the floor. Unfortunately I've only got one at the moment so yeah when I have another packet of raspberries I'll to just add another one in next to it here. Now for the cross ties, I've just bent the original eye hooks inwards. And then I'm going to be using some chain with a little clip hook on the end for the ropes. So this hoop will just clip on there and then this bit will clip to the head collar. So like this. Now the very final thing I had to do was make all the little details for the wash stall. So I started by making two big mirrors for the back wall. So for the base I used black card which I cut out into a rectangle and then on top of that I stuck some sticky mirror that I had which was perfect and I just stuck those to the wall using blue tack in each corner then I went and popped two crates into the shelves for storage then I went and dug out lots of bottles and jars that I had from old Playmobil sets and yeah just put those on the shelves for shampoo bottles I think I might eventually get around to making individual labels for each bottle but yeah I could be bothered with that right then okay here it is the finished wash stall Aladdin's already in it trying it out I'm so pleased with how it's turned out it looks brilliant the shelves are already being put into great use with all the little shampoo bottles we got going on there. 
I'm sure I'll find lots of other various little bits to add to it over time. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It looks so different. And I think it will look even better when I've got another one of these little floor pieces so it can cover the whole thing. Now, just getting the barn to this point where the wash stall is complete has taken way longer than I thought it would. So I think this is going to have to be a series because it has taken me days to get the wash stall looking like this. So yeah, this is the end of episode one. I really hope you enjoyed watching and maybe got some inspiration from this video. Make sure to subscribe to not miss part two and yeah, I'll see you then. I hope you have a great day. Bye!